Tonight on Australia's biggest bargain sale, we're offering a Mercedes-Benz valued at $29,938 for $392. A 22-foot yacht valued at $15,600 for $340. Two of the incredible bargains on Sale of the Century. And now, here is the star of the show, Tony Barber. Thank you very much, Pete Smith, and good evening, everybody. Welcome to it, Sale of the Century. I've got a funny feeling tonight. I've got something going for me. It says that it's going to be a big one, special. Maybe a new champion, maybe the one we've got going on with it all the way. We'll see as we play the game tonight and introduce our sales lady of the century, Victoria Nichols from Tony. Western Suburbs. Magpies. Magpies. Swan Districts in WA. Is it? Yes. Good. May I? Yes. Go right ahead. It's wonderful. Would you like to meet the Listen, players? I'd love to meet the players. Let's meet the players from all over Australia. Here they come. Three of them coming out. The theory tonight. You know, it's, it's pretty exciting. Only one of those. Our first player this evening enjoys the opera and the ballet. I'd like to meet Mrs. Mary Stanley from Victoria. Hello, Mary. She just lost a Mary. We've got another one. Yes. And our second player this evening enjoys Australian rules from Victoria also. I'd like to meet Mr. Dick Baker. Hey, Dick. And, of course, our third player this evening is our carryover champion, mother of seven children and two grandchildren, Mrs. Robin Burke, also from Victoria. Played a great game last night, did our Robin. So did you, too. Yeah. I love that dream sequence where you were thinking about the prize. Are you going to do that again tonight for us? I don't think so. I know whatever you do will be great. And <laughs> I'll see you later on. Bye. All right, bye, Victoria. Welcome, Mary. Okay. We've lost a Mary. We've gained another Mary. Yes. Which is your favourite opera? Oh, it's hard to say. Um, I go for the better known ones, I must admit. Mm -hmm. I think perhaps Carmen, because everything in it. Dun -dun 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 Maybe then Madame Butterfly. Yeah. Rigoletto. No. I, is it I, a very virile scene in Australia? Opera, we're we getting plenty at the moment? Um, yes, there's always something on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's some, somewhere or other. Hope you get a few uh, opera questions, Mary. Yes, I wish I'd had that last one on the board. Good luck. <laughs> Hello, Dick. Hello. You're uh, a fan, a player, umpire? A fan. A fan of? Carlton. Well, now, there you go, Dick. <laughs> you and me and my old mate Guy Crittenden, wherever he is. Um, hopes for the flag, uh, moderate. <laughs> well, we'll just have to do our best, Dick. Yep. Good luck to you tonight as you do yours. Uh, Robin, mother of seven, two grandchildren. Did you used to do, when you were driving the trucks, could, did you do much CB? A little bit. A little bit. Can you do some of that CB talk? I love all that. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, you've forgotten. Breaker, one nine, rubber ducky. No? <laughs> Never mind, Robin. I'm sure you'll be good at the game. All the best. Good luck to the players. Lights and buzzers, please. We'll get going. Mary? You have to be faster than that on the night, Mary. <laughs> I was waiting for a question. Yes. Actually. Dick? And Robin? All working well. $20 each. Superb. $5 for a correct answer. $5 down if they get it wrong. The one with the most money at the end gets to build up, buy the big stuff, and here we go. Why was it difficult after World War II for journalists to interview genuine Japanese kamikaze pilots? Dick. They'd already committed suicide. They'd done it, hadn't they, Dick? <laughs> they had. <laughs> yes. Good joke about that. Albert, you, no. Who succeeded Albert Monk as president of the ACTU in 1970? Mary. Bob Hawke. Bob Hawke, yes. He recently retired. <laughs> Bob is a uh, fan of quiz shows, and good evening wherever you are, Robert. A slang word which begins with flat means an English policeman. What is the word, Robin? Flatfoot. Flatfoot, that's right. The old flatfoot body. 25 inch. Good stuff. In which country is John O'Groats? Mary? Scotland. It is. Yes, the other end of the UK. Up to 30. Good quizzing. What four-letter word beginning with G means a Hindu spiritual teacher? Robin. Guru. That's the word uh, for 30 all in front. Double sale time. The bell's gone. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, look, girls, you've both got $30, you've got a $5 break over Dick. First one in with the buzzer when you hear the low price on this item gets it from Victoria. No, me, 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 me. If you're big on the radio, if you like AM, FM, stereo, have this twin cassette super speaker duva lucky for your car. Favourite little number, isn't it? The music's great. Now, 
Normally priced at $190, but tonight it's only $5 from Maya. <laughs> Come drive with me in my car. What's happened to your dress? I see. Now, we've said, uh, we've said $5 for all of that, and it's either lady with a buzzer to buy it, all right? $5 once, $5 twice, $5 three times, and there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, Mary. Back to 25. Good gear. Which book of the Old Testament has a name which means origin? It is the first book, Mary. Genesis. Genesis is right. Paid for the gear. Back to 30. Afghanistan has been in the news a great deal. What is its capital city, Dick? Kabul. Kabul is right up to 30 with Mary. It's also the name of a good racehorse in Sydney. Who is the president of France? Robin. Valérie Giscard d'Estaing. Valérie Giscard d'Estaing. Look at him go, everybody. 35 in a pair of things. Excellent. For the board, and the gallery of greats and the fame game and a possible $25, who am I? I was born in 1491. My mother was Elizabeth of York. I personally commanded my troops in the Battle of the Spurs. In 1513, my troops defeated and killed James IV of Scotland at Flodden Field in the same year. I held an interview with Francis I of France at the Field of the Cloth of Gold in 1520, Mary. Henry VIII. That's the gentleman we wanted. Henry VIII. Faces Victoria? Faces Tony. Let's do them. Tony Randall. Odd couple. Ron Casey. Sports director, Sydney. Mike Walsh. Mike Walsh Show. Vivian Gray. Sullivans. Andrew McFarlane. Sullivans. Sammy Davis Jr. Showbiz. Karen Pinney. Lotto and Young Doctors. Terry Willisey. Terry Willisey's Perth. Uh, Paul Cronin. From the Sullivans, who would you like, Mary, and good luck? Well, I come from Camberwell, so I'll have to have a Sullivans. Um, Pick a three. Andrew McFarlane. Andrew please. McFarlane. This is yours, Mary. You've won a beautifully tailored ladies' leather jacket. This will keep you cosy all through the winter months. Compliment sale of the century and Cornelius Furs, Sydney and Melbourne. They're good prizes, aren't they? A very nice pickup. Um, we haven't actually been throwing it away uh, from the big store, but from this area, those things coming up there, $125, $130 a time. Nice pickup, Mary. There's still $25 on the board. We'll be back for more sale of the century after this one. To free his friends, Commander Luke Skywalker must face a stronger, more determined empire. Darth Vader with the Imperial Stormtroopers have employed villainous bounty hunters. Bosk, IG-88, Boba Fett, and the entire Bespin security guards. Will Commander Skywalker walk into this trap? Or will he save his friends from almost certain death? Be the first kid in your galaxy to know who wins with Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back minifigures from Doll Toys. If you'd like to be a contestant, write to Contestant Grundy Organisation, GPO Box 7079, Sydney 2001. Back to you, Tony. Thanks very much, Pete. Battle Royal on here. No quarter given or taken. Robin, champion 35, plays Dick on 30, Mary 32. From what language does Sierra, meaning Ridge of Mountains, come, Robin? Spanish. Spanish is right. Go to 40. Who wrote The Sentimental Bloke? Mary? C.J. Dennis. His name's Dora. His name's uh, C.J. Dennis, right. Which royal father and son went to school at Gordonston? Mary. Prince Philip and uh, his son, um, Prince Charles. That's right. A little bit uh, <laughs> hesitant, but you got it out. What instrument enables you to see an endless variety of colours and forms, Robin? Kaleidoscope. It's the one. Kaleidoscope 45. What famous canal connects the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans? Mary. Panama. Panama's right. Look at those words. Uh, 45 of three seats. Again, it's double jeopardy. Double sale time. First in with a buzzer on the low price. Gets it. Vic. I have a beautiful camera and camera case. Now, this is great for those little snapshots when you want to remember things that you've forgotten. Oh, am I getting my photo taken? Farrah Force a tap, everybody. Oh, I don't know. On the top. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, this is normally priced at $239, but tonight, only seven. Oh, oops. <laughs> Oh, it's a sale. <laughs> You're a little spendthrift. I am, yes, when it's not my money. You're yes. a regular uh, <laughs> throw it away like that. Uh, yeah. Back to uh, $38. Which word, starting with the letter C in wartime, denotes a number of merchant ships protected by warships, Mary? Corvette. Corvette is wrong. That's a type of warship. Convoy. 
a convoy like the North Sea convoys. Mm. Aberdeen, Scotland has grown very fast in the past few years. Why? Mary. Of the West Indian population? No. That was a good try, honey, but uh, that's not it. The North Sea oil, you know, they're getting all the oil from the North Sea, now that's the sort of capital of it. And the same thing, I believe, is about to happen in Perth, because that's the capital of where they're going to get all the North uh, Shelf gas oil up there, too. Hello, Perth. Oak Ridge in Tennessee was associated with an important project in the Second World War. What was it? Dick? The atom bomb. Yeah, development of the atomic bomb. You're staying with the girls. Go to 35. The all-important pinky again, bonus board question, possible $25. Who am I? I was born in the latter years of the 19th century and became a mechanic by trade. I was drafted into the army at the beginning of World War I and was captured by the Russians. During World War II, I formed groups of guerrillas to fight the Italian and German invaders. My original name was Joseph... Yes, Dick? Tito. That's the one, Marshal Tito. Here's a challenge from Dick, trailing at the moment, but with a big chance to zoom into the lead. Who would I'll you like, Dick? Sammy Davis, please. Sammy Davis, Jr.? Dick, this oh. is for you. You've won a gas barbecue, ideal for the backyard and all outdoor activities, built to last, too. Yours with the compliments of Sale of the Century and Renard. Good summer coming up for you, Dick. We'll get the blues round and a few uh, tinnies, and we'll have a great time. We'll be back after this break. You're watching Sale of the Century. There's fun for all at Shepparton Skatewave Roller Skating Centre during the school holidays with three great sessions daily. 10 a.m. till 12, 1.30 till 4.30 p.m. and 7.30 till 10 p.m. And don't forget, tomorrow night, the 22nd of August, Skatewave will celebrate its first anniversary with a fancy dress party. Come dressed as you wish. The happy hour starts at 7.30 with ice cream, cake, novelties and giveaways. Don't miss out on the fun at Shepparton Skatewave Friar Street. Do you dare to eat the world's biggest, noisiest breakfast flake? Well, at least they're good for it. Crispy. Not just the world's biggest flake, but... Go. Do or die coming up in Sale of the Century. Last round, tightly bunched field, 45, Robin, our champion in front on 45, plays 35 for you, Dick. Mary, you're 28. Spendthrift. There is a rite of burning the palms of the preceding Palm Sunday, blessing the ashes, yes, Mary? To be used on Ash Wednesday. You've included in your answer the words we wanted, which were Ash Wednesday. What name do the Dutch give to the land they've reclaimed from the sea? Robin. Oh... It's gone. You went off half... No, what's the name there? It's there, but it's gone. Polder. They call it Polder. Back to 40. What is a three-letter synonym for paroxysm or seizure? Robin. Fit. A fit is right. Go to 45. Which famous English hero fell deeply in love with a beautiful woman whose maiden name was Emma Hart and whose married name was Mary? Lord Nelson. Emma Hamilton. Yes, Nelson and Hamilton, back to 38. Spending time, Robin, you got $45. You're 10 ahead of Dick. You got a $7 break over Mary and a total of $45 to um, throw around, if you wish. Yes, Ma Robin, I keep going to call you Mary since you're sitting in Mary's seat. <laughs> this is a beautifully comfortable lounge suite, ideal for a family room. It's made of Chelsea velvet with chrome base. Now, Chelsea it's normally Blue. Chelsea velvet. Not Chelsea Brown, but Chelsea Velvet. It's normally priced at $599, but tonight it's only $15 from Maya. It's comfortable, isn't it? Extremely comfortable, right? I just wanted to try it. It's a bit sort of dentist waiting room, isn't it? Mm. What are you having, love? A molar? <laughs> um, <laughs> Robin? <laughs> Wisdom, is it? Robin, uh, for um, $15. You can't afford it. $15, Robin. Uh, I'll give it to you for 10 Once, twice, three times going, going. What about the... Is that... No sale. No sale. Keep the gear and uh, carry on there, Robin. You're in front by seven. According to Greek mythology, what was conferred upon all those who ate the food of the gods? 
Mary. Immortality. Immortality's right. 43 plus 45 in front. <laughs> Who wrote the long poem, Child Harold's Pilgrimage? Mary. Byron. New leader, 48 plus 45. <laughs> Got the team here tonight? <laughs> Which is the westernmost African country with a coast on the Mediterranean? No geography whizzes up there, it's Morocco. Last chance at the money, players. Last chance at the fame game. Who am I? I was born in Chicago, 1901. During the years 1918 to 1919, I was a Red Cross ambulance driver in France. After World War I, I worked as a commercial artist. I experimented with animated cartoons. Mary. Walt Disney. You've got Walt Disney. <laughs> Last chance, Mary, good luck. I'll stick with the Sullivans and I'll have Paul Cronin. Paul Cronin? No. Oh, Mary, sorry. you can. Yes, you can take it home tonight. A million miler suitcase and matching shoulder bag. Travelling will be so much easier with these two superb pieces of luggage. Compliment sale of the century and pack light. They can't find our money this week. No one can find it. Where was it, Victoria? Tony Randall. Oh, odd couple had it. There it was. All right, let's leave it there. The last three questions 48, 45, 35. What do the following names have in common? Ra, Helios, Robin. They're all gods. All ancient gods, correct. Go to 50, lead by two. Which word associated with transport takes its name from the Latin meaning for all? Mary? Omnibus. Omnibus is right, 53, 50. Last question. Dick, you can't win at this stage. Robin or Mary, 53 to 50, anybody's game. What French emperor married Marie Louise of Robin? Oh my God! <laughs> oh, Robin. there's only one great emperor that yeah. you probably could think of. Who was it? I'm not going to answer. I'm going to hang my head in shame. It's all right. Napoleon the First. Congratulations, Mary. You got the fifty-three dollars. <laughs> that was a uh, cliffhanger. Congratulations again. Dick, you, uh, you've you got a $200 barbecue, which will make your summers memorable, and I hope you remember us with a certain amount of pleasure. I will. Thank you for playing. Robin, uh, you did spend along the way, and you're going home to that great family of yours, all seven of them, the grandchildren, everything. $800 worth of prizes. Well played, Rob. And uh, for both losers, this from Bruce and Walsh. Yes, I have a beautiful memento from Bruce and Walsh. That was an exciting game. I really enjoyed it. Say good night to Dick and Robin, everybody. There they go. <laughs> Mary stays with $53 to spend. We go shopping right after this break. The G70 Frisbee by Toll Toys. It's the easy Frisbee. It has more control and is more forgiving than an ordinary frisbee. It's perfect for beginners because you can't go wrong. Anyone can do it. The G70 Easy Frisbee by Toll Toys. The frisbee that everyone can throw. We've had more champions this week than Carlton Football Team. And here's another one. Mary Stanley, everybody, ready to go? Yes. Let's ready. go shopping. <laughs> Nice work, Mary. Thank you, Tony. Hard at the end, wasn't it? It did, was, yes. Did you think of Napoleon? I did, but, uh, you know, I really lost by default because yeah. I wasn't uh, very quick on the buzzer then. Got to be fast all the you time, do, eh? yes, yes. Really good. You did the trick. You've got $53, which puts you just about into the market for that. Mary, you can throw away your clothesline when you own this fully automatic washing machine and tumble dryer, the cleanest of clothes, dried in an instant. Normally priced at $500, tonight only $54 from Mally's. I guess you got all that shit. Oh, well, that's good. Forget all about it. And look this way. No more rolling into the middle of the bed with this firm double mattress and base. Rip a good up, night's mate. sleep is up. essential. It's normally $1,000, but tonight it's only $110 from Dunla Pillow. <laughs> Just when we're waiting to start the show each evening. I rest on that. Do you? Oh, yes. That's why you're so And relaxed. it's very comfortable and it's great. I can thoroughly recommend it. Passing on, we go to this. 
Learning to play the organ will be made much easier with this fabulous instrument. It has everything you need for hours of enjoyment. Normally priced at two thousand dollars tonight, only one hundred and sixty-five dollars from Look Lowry. At my, Look at my beautiful organ. There it is. Trombone, clarinet, viola, banjo, Hawaiian guitar. And it all sounds great. We've had it working earlier today. Tuned in, beautiful, ready to go. But don't make your mind up yet, it gets better. Mary, imagine the pleasure this dining room setting would bring. It seats 12 guests comfortably, and its chairs are upholstered in velvet from CRO Furniture. To complement this, a silver-plated cutlery service from Anida, normally priced at $4,000, tonight only $225. Craftsman, mate. We had a guy uh, the other week could have uh, could have taken this and left the show, but elected to play on, and that was the end of him. Now, holiday time. This is the way to go. Yes, and you could enjoy 29 days of sun-filled pleasure with this 29 days trip of the Orient. Hong Kong, Japan, and duty-free shopping makes this the trip of a lifetime. Normally priced at eight thousand dollars, tonight only two hundred and eighty dollars from Sitmark Cruises. It's very much like this one that they're offering, and it's really superb. Not just the places you go to, but the time on the ship too. Really look yes, after you. Got all yes, to, to go on the go. trip with. Uh, this is sail yourself time over here. I'll say this magnificent yacht is perfect for racing or just for the family. It will accommodate five people, and to make your job easier, a full day's instruction will enable you to Whoa. sail this beauty with the utmost of ease. Yeah. Normally priced at fifteen thousand six hundred dollars, tonight only three hundred and forty dollars from Boomeroo Yachts Victoria. You could join Brighton Yacht Club in this too. Boomeroo 22. That'll be a big decision for you. Should you elect to play on the next night, you'd be uh, driving this ripper. Mary, the prize of prizes. This magnificent car with its stylish design and comfortable interior. One of the most luxurious cars on the road. The 240D, engineered like no other car. Priced at $29,938. Tonight, $395 from Mercedes-Benz of Australia and distributors. The car by which others are compared. It's a dream, just to drive it. They let me drive it occasionally and I just get in it and I don't go anywhere, I just drive around because it's such a good feeling. The best. All the safety features you care to think of. This goes with it, by the way, Mary. I'd love someone to win it. It's the uh, gold and diamond Bruce and Walsh keyring and it's quite exquisite. But now, uh, $53. Normally we say $54, but you know, $53 is pretty close, all right? So should you, for whatever reason is in your mind, decide you'd like to leave us, you may go and for $53 take the dryer and the washing machine. Or you can come back and play tomorrow night. I think I'll play back. Just like that. Yes. All right. Mary Stanley's back to do it tomorrow night. Two new challenges you've got to meet. I think you'll go pretty well. Say good night, Victoria. Good night, Victoria. Good night, everybody. And New South Wales, too. Keep smiling. Bye for now. Bye-bye. The GMV Regional News follows next. Then we have the National News on Relay from Melbourne. We use Grace Brothers, the professionals, cast and crew fly and set airlines, stay at Queen's Lodge and drive Hertz rent a car. Some of our contestants receive a beautiful memento pin from Bruce and Walsh, Sydney's most capable jewellers. In Melbourne, dine at Maggie's Terrace Restaurant. Fashions for the ladies by Maya Melbourne, leaders in fashion. Here styling for Tony Barber, Victoria Nichols and models by Gilbert Broadway. This has been a Grundy organization production for The Nine Network. Peter Smith. What's happened to with the bananas? Who's playing? The game, Victoria. Let's meet the players from all over Australia. <laughs> Our first player this evening is a commercial artist who enjoys reading about politics. I'd like you to meet Mr. Dennis Rodwell from New South Wales. Hi, Dennis. And our second player this evening enjoys gardening, has lived in Australia for 16 years, is originally from England. I'd like you to meet Mr. Bill Carey from New South Wales. Hi, Bill. And of course, our third player this evening is our carryover champion, Mrs. Mary Stanley from Victoria. And welcome back, Mary. And see you shortly, Victoria. Oh, long leave. I'll catch you. Yeah. Uh, looks like Mary. Looks like they brought the big, brought the, the boys down from New South Wales <laughs> to fix you up tonight. You know, <laughs> <laughs> in the game. <laughs> Hello, Dennis. Good evening, Jenny. You, have you read Sideshow? No, I have not. That's the new. Um, it's the um, journalised history of uh, the whole Cambodian situation. And camp is just rather disturbing. Uh, Piece mm. of, but I recommend that too if you like that sort of yes. reading. No, I haven't read it yet. What's something you have read lately, Dennis? Oh, uh, 
ruined from the air. Oh, yeah? The, What's that about? The uh, making of the atom bomb. Oh, right. Yeah, we had a question about that only last night, uh, earlier in the week, Oak Ridge. That's right. Well, they developed it. Good luck in the game, Dennis. Thank you. How are your chrysanthemums, Bill? <laughs> They'll be a bit slow this year, I think. Yes. What, what, what's good at the moment? What's flourishing? Oh, well, I'm just having great success with lettuce. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. And are you keeping the snails away? Because that's very important, isn't it? Very true, yes. Yeah. Sawdust is a very good thing, I believe. Yeah. And Defender is fabulous, <laughs> without turning this into a... Yeah. You know, great. Good luck in the game, Bill. Thank and uh, all the best, Mary. Welcome back. Thank you, Tony. With your cheer squad from Turak College and all. <laughs> Lights and buzzers, please. We get the game underway. Dennis and Bill and Mary. $20 each to start with. Your job, build on it. And good luck. Remember, if you're right, you get five. If you're wrong, you lose five. Kubla Khan, Mongol emperor, had a famous grandfather. What was his name? Mary. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan, first blood to the champ, 25. Which member of a famous acting family spent many of his years in a wheelchair but kept on acting? Bill. The Barrymore's. Lionel Barrymore. Oh, yes, yes. We would have had to have the extra bit because uh, we've already established that it's a famous family. Lionel Barrymore in particular. What poem do these lines come from? Rats. They fought the dogs and killed the cats, Mary. The Pied Piper of Hamlet. By Robert Browning. Correct for 25. <laughs> Makes you 30. Which tribe of people had a ferocious leader called Attila? Mary. The Hun. Attila the Hun. Correct. 35. Who, during the Crimean War, was called the Lady of the Lamp? Bill. Florence Nightingale. Great friend of Queen Victoria. It takes you to 30. And there's the bell for you, Mary. For whom the bell tolls. You're five ahead of uh, Bill, 10, 15 in front of Dennis, and uh, $35 to spend on this with Victoria. Oh, Mary, I have beautiful brass and glass shelving. Now, it's fantastic. Actually, it, it, you can put all sorts of things on here, but I think it'd probably be ideal for glasses because it would add to the, I don't know, quality of the glass already on the shelving. Now, it's normally priced at $190. <laughs> don't laugh at me, Tony. I can see you. But tonight, it's only $7 from Maya. What am I bid for this brass and glass? Where you can park your objects of great interest. Mary. It's uh, seven dollars, nearly two hundred dollars worth for seven, but for you because you have a lovely face and nice cheer squad, seven dollars. No. <laughs> That'll be right. Two red collies. <laughs> no. Six. No. Five dollars once. No. Five dollars twice. No. It's a sale at five dollars. <laughs> Brings you back to 30. West Germany's Chancellor is a well-known European leader. What is her name? Bill. Willy Brandt. What is his name? I beg your pardon. It's not uh, Willy Brandt. It's Helmut Schmidt. Willy Brandt was um, his uh, predecessor, or one of his predecessors. The oldest of the seven wonders of the world, and the only one substantially still in existence, is in Egypt. What is it, Mary? The Great Pyramid. That's all you had to say. The pyramids, easy enough. 35. Name the tree which is indistinguishable from the peach tree, but whose fruit is smooth skin. Mary. The nectarine. The nectarine. Where were you, Bill? Out in the garden there. <laughs> no good, mate. Uh, for a pick of the board, fame game question, who am I? I was born in England in 1890, the child of an American father. I received much of my education from my mother. I was possibly the most successful financially of all writers in my field. My books have sold more than 100 million copies. One of my plays had a run of many years, Mary. Agatha Christie. The mouse trap is Agatha Christie, you're right. First pick of the board for Mary. Nine faces up there, one of them hiding the um, $25. You got them ready there, Victoria? I got them ready. Good luck, Mary. Let's go. Tony Randall. Uh, just a moment, please, Mary. Let's uh, talk about the right shows. Tony Randall. Uh, from the Odd Couple. Ron Casey. Sports Desk. Mike Walsh. His show. Vivian Gray. Sullivan's. Andrew McFarlane. Sullivan's. Sammy Davis Jr. Candyman. Karen Finney. Lotto and the uh, Young Doctors. Terry Willisey. Terry Willisey's Perth. Paul Cronin. Sullivan's. Well, I'll stick with Sammy Davis. Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> 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 
Just goes to show sometimes it pays to stick. You've got some good spending money there now, Mary. Dennis and Bill, you've got the job ahead of you, but you've got two rounds to catch up. We'll be back after that. <laughs> There's a big job to do. You need a strong arm. You can dig it. Yeah! You can lift it. Yeah! You can move it. Yeah! You can dump it. Yeah! With a strong arm. Strong arm, the front end loader that does a hard day's play. Dig it, lift it, shift it from here to there. Yeah! Tonka tough. Strong arm. Strong arm. Strong arm, built to play another day. Yeah! If you'd like to be a contestant, write to Contestant Grundy Organization, GPO Box 7079, Sydney 2001. Back to you, Tony. Thanks, Pete. That's a good idea, too. Um, if you're sitting at home and getting 90% of these questions right, it could be you we're looking forward to give all our prizes to, and you're very welcome to come and join us. At the moment, Mary's making a great fist of it, leading with 65. Uh, Mary Stanley from Victoria. Um, Bill Carey on New South, uh, from New South Wales, 25. And Dennis uh, Radwell from New South Wales, also on 20. Is, try your buzzer, Dennis. See if it's going. Good. In which country is Labrador? Bill. Canada. Canada's right. Good for you. $30. An isotherm is used on a map to link corresponding places, Mary. That have the same temperature. Places that have the same temperature, correct? $70. <laughs> In what country was Charles Chaplin born? Bill. England. England, correct. Birkenhead and Liverpool in England are connected by a railway tunnel under which river? Mary? Mercy. Mercy is right. If you were painting a booby hatch, what would you be painting? Pardon? If you were painting a booby hatch, what would you be painting? You know, booby hatch. You'd be painting part of a ship. It's that part of, it's from the French meaning bird hatch. And in the old days, the, um, the birds used to land on this certain part of the ship. <laughs> Made it very difficult for the sailors, you know, cleaning up and everything. But they called it the uh, booby hatch. It's gift shop time, I know, because the bell has rung and you've got a great lead, Mary. Now, these are the situations which you should really excel in because you have such a great lead. $40 over Bill, your nearest rival. $75 to spread around and look at this great bargain. I have these Le Creuset saucepans. Now, every woman would love to have these. They're probably the most brilliant saucepans in the world. They just last forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and so on. Men cook too. Well, and men would probably love these too then. I know, that's awfully mean of me to say that, isn't it? Sexist. Oh, ah! Normally these are priced at $250, but tonight they're only $9 for mine. No arguments there, Mary. Seen the saucepans, taste the sauce. Spend the money. Nine dollars. I refuse to be any lower than nine dollars because you're you're very wealthy. You've you've got lots of money to spend. So for nine dollars, they're yours. This is your last chance. If you haven't bought them by the time I switch off the gas, going going. They're yep. sold and there A great buy. Brings you back to sixty-six. Still a good lead. Cullinan one, the world's largest cut diamond. Cullinan two, the second largest. The Black Prince's Ruby and the Stuart Sapphire are all part of... Mary? Uh, the Royal Crown Jewels. That's correct. The Crown Jewels of England. 71. And the bush has friends to meet him and their kindly voices greet him. Greet whom? Who is this poem about? Dennis. Clancy. Good one. Oh. Nice to meet you. Good to hear from you. Clancy of the other side. New York City has five boroughs. Here are four, and I want you to give me the fifth. Richmond, Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, and Bill. Bronx. The Bronx is right. Home of Barbara Streisand, another interesting people. For a uh, prize from the board, who am I? Emerson said of my songs, bells ring them in their spires. I wrote of cottages and barley fields and of the human spirit. On the anniversary of my birth, the 25th of January, People gather to hear about me and sing my songs. They sing, Ye Banks and Braes of Bonnie Doon, Mary. Robbie Burns. That's the man, Robbie Burns. <laughs> Who'd you like on the board of me, <laughs> Um, Mike Walsh, please. Great Scotsman. Oh. OK, take this home tonight, Mary. You've won a portable typewriter, perfect for the office or in your home. This sturdy, lightweight typewriter will give you hours of use and convenience. Compliments of sale of the century and Olympia. That's all right, isn't it? Nice cooker. 
All right, so far so good for the champs looking uh, pretty comfortable at the moment, but Bill and Dennis might have something to say about that when we come back for round three. You can design whatever's on your mind or write your name in squiggly lines. It's so much fun to doodle anything in your noodle. To doodle is doodles of fun. Skadoodle from Kenbright. Start of the century, round three. Welcome back to it. And uh, our champion, Mary Stanley, in great shape on $71. Closely, well, not too closely pursued, but pursued by Dennis and Bill, 25 and 40 respectively. The orangutan is a large ape. What in Malay or Indonesian does orangutan literally mean, Bill? Yeah. <coughs> Man of the woods. Man of the woods. Um, yes, Professor Sam's paid that. Man of the forest. <laughs> woods will do. What is Yugoslavia's capital city? Bill. Belgrade. Belgrade. Late run from Bill up to 50, 21 off the pace. General Douglas MacArthur commanded Allied forces in the Pacific in World War II. His father, also a general, had been a governor of the Philippines. What was his name? <laughs> Father's name? Arthur MacArthur. <laughs> you don't believe me? That's right. Sounds like a stage name. Arthur MacArthur, General Arthur MacArthur. Name one of the two Prime Ministers of Great Britain whose terms of office were between 1868 and 1885. Mary. Disraeli. Disraeli would do. Gladstone would do also. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Good news for you, Mary. The bell ringeth. $76. You're 26 ahead of Bill and uh, umpteen. 51 ahead of Dennis. This is for you. Get ahead with your letter writing with this fantastic little roll top table. Now, no den or office or study is complete without one of these. They're normally priced at $369, but tonight, only 10 from my Somewhere to put the typewriter, Mary. Uh, yes, and it was only the other day my husband said, if I don't get a filing cabinet or something, and he didn't finish the sentence, so I'd rather see this than a, a grey filing cabinet, I think. So, so. for $10, yes. you're going to <laughs> buy it? I've now got some very good news for you, which you would normally find out when you got home. We opened the top drawer, and in the top drawer, $300 in cash. That's nice, isn't it? There we go. We'll pass the cash over later. Well played, Mary. Good one. What occupation, often featured on TV, is associated with the American Alan Pinkerton? Mary. Detective. Work. Private detective. detective. Yes, detective will do. 71. Who painted the famous picture of bushrangers holding up a coach entitled Bailed Up? It's Tom Roberts. Is that in Sydney or Melbourne? I think it's a great painting. Love it. All his work. What is the name of the Frenchman who is generally credited with developing the first intelligence test? Mary? Binet. Alfred Binet, 1904-1955. Good work, 76. Last prize from the board, what am I? I'm a city, the second largest in Texas. I was the chief inland cotton market of the United States, and at one stage my people made more than half the cotton gins used in the world. A nearby city is Fort North, with whom I share an airport, Fort North. On November 22nd, 1963, Mary? Dallas. I am Dallas, that's right. Dallas. Let's not dwell too long on Dallas. Have a pick, Mary, and good luck. Uh, Karen Peeney. Karen Peeney. Well, what about this? You've won one double bed, two single bed electric blankets, and a heated booty. These will see you through the winter nights. Compliment sale of the century and Peter Pan. Very nice warm nights, Mary, for you. All right. Looks like a good win coming up for the champ. Last three questions. What part of a hop plant is used in brewing? Mary. The leaves. Not the leaves. Uh, I've got the dried uh, female oh, yes. flower head or cone of that plant. Give me a word beginning with C-O-N and meaning a kind of eel. Mary. Conga. You got it back very quickly. Five down, five up. Last question for a big win. Within what country would I find the states of Mato Grosso and Sao Paulo? Bill. Mexico. No, they're both in Brazil. And it's Mary's night again. <laughs> Good result for you. Congratulations, Mary. 
A little bit of cash and desks and prizes from the gift shop as well, so it's been a great night. Dennis, I can't say the same to you. That's a very fast uh, competitor you had against you there. Yes. I'll have something for you in just a second. Bill, um, also, Wipeout. But for both of you gentlemen, our uh, thanks for coming tonight and this present from Bruce and Walsh. Yes, a beautiful memento diamond stick pin from Bruce and Walsh. Wear them with pride, gents, and thank you for coming. Night to the boys. Mary now has a total of $129, which gets her into bed, which gets her into the, uh, the, uh, the, the mattress. <laughs> she can possibly buy the mattress after this break. Channel 6, in association with the Deafness Appeal Telethon, will present a star-studded variety special hosted by Jimmy Haddon on Saturday, August the 30th, commencing at 8.30. Like Them hear how much you care by phoning through your donation at the following centres. Welcome back to Sale of the Century and our champion and still champion, Camberwell's answer to the Sullivans, hey. Mary Stanley. I've got something for you, Mary, before we Ooh, do anything else. Thank you. That's uh, the real stuff that happened to be secreted in the desk. Ooh. A little further inducement for you. That's yours to keep. Mm, it's, it's, it's real, real. isn't it? Mm. Nothing like the old legal tender. <laughs> You've also got $129 to spend. Let's go and do it. Let's go shopping! <laughs> now, we're well past the white goods. $129 will get you all of this. Yes! Sleep in style with this beautiful, whoops, don't trip over your bed, mattress. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> it's normally priced at $1,000, but tonight, $110 from Dunla Pillow. Thank you. Well, how'd you do that ripping? That was good. That was beautiful. But I guess you've probably got a bed, haven't you? Well, yes, yes, I yeah, have. Most people <laughs> have. Um, all right, well, you might want to improve on it, but if you'd like to play on, we're looking at this over here. Yes, Mary, you can learn to play all of your favourite music with this fantastic electric organ. Everything you need for hours of enjoyable music, normally priced at $2,000. Tonight, only $165 from Larry. Mm, good tone, isn't it? Nice tone. That's yours for that price, or we play on for the dining suite. Yes, Mary, entertaining will be made so much easier with this dining room table and 12 matching chairs, superbly designed and crafted from CRO furniture. It will be highlighted by this silver-plated cutlery service from Oneida. Normally priced at $4,000, but tonight, only $225. You can see the value of counter, $4,000 worth. Right. But did I tell you it was collapsible? Uh, yes. Well, not collapsible. It, it stretches short and, and stretches out. Does all of that. All right, Mary, but if it's holiday time you're after, then this is the place to be. Duty-free shopping, exotic foods and peoples will all become familiar on this 29-day trip of the Orient. Visiting such places as Hong Kong and Japan. Normally, this fabulous trip would cost you $8,000. Tonight, only $280 from Sitma. Yes. Oh, well, I just was checking. So. Yes. Well, that's nice. $280, the weight you're scoring, that could be yours a uh, couple of nights' time. One step beyond that, let's yeah. go this way. Yes, Mary, start your nautical love affair with this beautiful trailable yacht, perfect for the family as a cruiser or as a racer. It will accommodate five people in comfort and has a fully equipped galley. Normally priced at $15,600 tonight, only $340 from Boomeru Yachts of Victoria. That's better and better, huh? $16,000 worth, that is. Then we double it the next night, get up into the $30,000, and all we want from you is $395 for this. The prize of prizes. This magnificent car has just been reintroduced into Australia with improved performance. The 240D, engineered like no other car, normally priced at $29,938, tonight $395 from Mercedes-Benz of Australia and distributors. Yes, you know, it's funny, uh, Mary, the other night, when you, before I even met you, at the start of the game, I said something big's going to happen. 
tonight, and, and it was in fact, it wasn't our champion going on, it was you starting, that was it. Oh, that was it. See, and I think you're going to finish up with oh, this somehow. Lovely, I've got that feeling, and if you do, you'll get that to go with it, the Mercedes key ring and diamonds and gold, uh, 395. If you come back and change your 395 into 448 on the next night, we would give you everything, and it's all valued at $64,000. But I mean, that's only, the, the prices are only part of it. You're having fun. Oh, I'm having a great time, yes. And you've got, uh, how many in the family? Uh, four children. Well, four they're children. not all children now. <laughs> the, the eldest is yeah. 22, and the next is 20, and the next is 16, and the next is 11. Off your hands? Uh, two aren't at home, yeah. although they're, you know, in and out. Yeah. But uh, two at home, really. Oh, well, I best, uh, they'd probably be uh, barracking for you to bring some of this stuff home. Oh, yes. Would you like the bed? Let's put it that way. Or do you want to play on? Um, no, I'll play on. Mary Stanley's playing on next Monday. Have a good weekend thinking about it. Don't let it worry you, though. No. And I think you've got the sort of relaxed manner that'll carry you through. In the, don't you, Victoria? Oh, yes. It's very oh, easy so. going. See you Monday. Have a good weekend, Vic. Go skiing. Hope so. Say good night, Victoria. Good night, Victoria. Keep smiling and bye for now. Bye-bye. Join Tony Barber again the same time on Monday afternoon for Sale of the Century. Coming up now on six. Up at the $64 a metre. The private bin collection, $24.95 a metre with built-in foam underlay. Berkeley Axminster, $65 a metre. Silk and Touch Nylon Broadloom, only $49 a metre. And Armstrong Vinyls, from $14.95 a metre. Look for these sensational floor covering savings at Wangaratta Furnishing, now. Did you ever cook a burrow? Have you tried to kangaroo? Would you like to eucalyptus? Or perhaps to cockatoo? Have you always longed to platypus? Well, here's the thing to do. Get up with Skippy Aussie Corn and you can kangaroo. You can! You can kangaroo, we can! You can kangaroo! Skippy, the Aussie cornflake from Sanitarium. The people who believe food should not only taste good, it should be good for you. You can kangaroo, you can! You can kangaroo! With Yamaha's new release CN70 touch and play organ, you too can be playing like this. The Easy Play CN70 organ features include single finger memory chords, ABC fun blocks, auto arpeggio and rhythm, and is available from Harold Price Music Land at the special price of $595. Call into Harold Price Music Land for your free touch and play lesson and demonstration on the remarkable CN70 touch and play organ. Harold Price Music Land, 87 Friar Street, Shepparton. World famous chef, Bert Newton. Bonjour. Other world famous chefs would not dare cook the chook at only 165 degrees Celsius. Oh, no, no, no. But Bert Newton has the Westinghouse fan forced oven. With the fan at the back foreseeing an even heat throughout, you can cook the chook at a lower temperature. The Westinghouse fan forced oven. The new force in cooking. At the crash land, they planted on the far edge of Omega Sector. At least we don't rust. Kyle, my brother, he's our leader. Uh, he's only a boy, and the others are just children. We trade Starbuck to the tin cans for father. And I just wanted to thank you. Uh, we don't have your father yet, but uh, you're welcome. That way, I see our. over both gentlemen. And you've got $35 to spend, and here's Victoria to try and seduce you. Uh, <laughs> Attempt. <induce> you. <laughs> I have a beautiful dinner service here. Now it's bone china. It wears really well, and, oh, well, probably as long as you don't put it in the dishwasher, because it has a gold edge around, a gold and red edge. Now it's normally priced at $479, but tonight it's only $10 from Maya. I don't think Mary will quibble much about that because it's only $10 from Myers. You've probably seen it wandering around the store from time to time, Mary, and thought, gee, I'd love that, haven't you? I have, but... Mm, what do you think? No. Buy or build? <laughs> always good to remember. Always good to remember. Oh, in the momento. Uh, always good to remember at home and here, of course, that, that Mary has $129 
in the bank and if she spends and, and doesn't win at the end, eight dollars. Going, going at eight dollars once, no, twice, no, gone. No. That'll be nice for supper, Victoria, hang on to it. In 1854 at Ballarat, Victoria, there was a famous battle. Mary? The Eureka Stockade battle. The Eureka Stockade. The battle lasted 15 minutes, students of Australian history. There were 25 diggers and five troopers killed. If a friend were attending the offices of an obstetrician, in what condition would your friend Mary... She'd be pregnant. She would, yes, be pregnant. He or she... Oh, not he. <laughs> 45, great lead. Which country is separated from Sicily by the Straits of Messina? Na Neil. Sicily and Italy. Uh, Italy is... Uh, that's the one, yes. Um, 32 kilometres long and 2 to 12 kilometre, uh, kilometres wide. This is a special fame game question, a possible $25 for the trailing parties. This could be handy. Who am I? I was born in Paris in 1858 of German parents. I had a technical education. I worked on converting the chemical energy and fuel to heat energy. By 1896, I had my first working model successfully operating. My principle is suited to heavy vehicles like Australian locomotives. My engines burn cheap fuels, Mary. I was Rudolf Diesel. That's who I was. Johnny Rudolf Diesel. First pick to Mary are the faces, Victoria. Yes, sir. They're ready. Let's see them. On the board tonight, we have... George Negus. From 60 Minutes, Australia's number one current affairs show. Kevin Arnett. The weather in Melbourne. Terry, Terry Willis. Terry Willis is Perth, uh, from Channel 9 Perth. Cheryl Ladd. Of Charlie's Angels. Don Lane. From the Don Lane Show. Vivian Gray. From the Sullivans. Bert Newton. And Don Sidekicks up there. Stephanie Powers. From uh, Heart to Heart, of uh, course, yes. Stumped. Paul Cronin. Of the Sullivans. Who would you like, Mary, and good luck on you? Um, I'll have Kevin Arnett, please. Stand back. Mm -hmm. Kevin. Look what this is. This is for you, Mary. You've won some Smurfs. Yes, these have been the biggest craze for the kids, so add these fabulous creatures to your child's collection. Compliment Sale of the Century and R&B Eldridge. My kids have just gone bananas. Honestly, Benny, and all the kids in Australia, they love, they, they're great. Have you got nieces and things, Mary? Nephews? Uh, no, my youngest child's 11. Look, they'd be happier with them that than if you took them a CD's home. Sure, they would. Uh, the Smurfs. We're going to take a Smurfy break and we'll be right back after this. It's not the pack that brings them back to Chips Ahoy. It's not the crunch that packs the punch in Chips Ahoy. The thing that makes them hits is all those choggy chips. Not only one, not only two, two not even just a few, but, but lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of choggy chips. Yes, folks, with every delicious Chips Ahoy cookie, you get enough choggy chips to sink the whole jolly navy. Not only one, not only two, not even just a few, but lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of choggy chips. Chips Ahoy from the Bisco. Hello, sailor. Sunset Records present popular Italian hits all on the one album. Tunes like Fole Amore, Anima e Corre, Parla Più Piano, Amore Vivo, and many more favorites. Ask for your Sergio G and Opus 2 available on either record or cassette from leading record stores. You've got us. Sale of the century. Round two coming up. Very big night tonight. Mary Stanley protecting a bank of $129 and really uh, looking powerful at this stage with a, a lead of uh, 15 so far, Mary. A Dutch sailor entered Sharks Bay in Western Australia. Stephen. Hartog. His name was Dirk Hartog. In squad place, we'll march the spot. Up to 30. What title was once given to the eldest sons of the kings of France? Mary. The Dauphin. The Dauphin. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely spot on. Our Queen's grandmother was Queen... Neil. Victoria. No. No, she would have been the great... great-grandmother. Uh, this was Queen Mary. Uh, Mary of Tech, wife of George V. Back to 25, Neil. The Pope has recently visited Brazil. What is Brazil's capital city? Neil. Brasilia. It is Brasilia, yes. Not to be confused with Rio de Janeiro. It replaced Rio de Janeiro in 1960. The ghost of a man murdered near Campbelltown in 1826. Neil. Fisher's ghost. Fisher's ghost. Look at Neil go. He's got a bit of a new lease of life there. Up to 35. The bell hath rung. You've uh, still retained that lead, Mary. You're now $15 ahead of Neil, 20 in front of Stephen. 
This is something that'll uh, make your eyes sparkle a little. Let me direct your attention to the gift shop. Now, every little girl dreams of having a doll's house just like this one. I know I did when I was a kid. It's beautifully furnished and has lovely Barbie dolls to play with. Now, this is normally priced at $300, but tonight it's only $9 from Maya. Would you like one of these little houses? Have you got one? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you, you were telling me before that you've got some Barbie dolls that you play with. Yes. Yes? yes? Do you have any Barbie dolls? Yes. Yes? Everybody says yes. <laughs> well, it's normally priced at uh, $300, but tonight it's only nine from Maya. Only nine dollars. Mary, for all those toys valued at normally $300. Uh, no thanks, Tony. Definitely not. Aren't they lovely, though? Oh, yeah. Well, that, all the kids watching it probably want them, but then the kids wouldn't perhaps understand the mathematics of the money involved. Um, I'll let you have them for eight. Um, no, they're really no, lovely. No, 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 I know they are, but... Um, no. I heard no. uh, the mother of the children said you can look after them for a couple of weeks too, if you like. No. <laughs> Going once at eight dollars, twice, three times, no sale. Thanks, kids. Nice round of applause for the children. Home to bed now. Back to the questions. Mary retains her lead on 50. Can you name the delightful doctor in Hugh Lofting's book who liked animals, Mary? Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle is right. He could talk to the animals. Who was the famous opera singer with whom Aristotle and Assis was romantically linked, Mary? Maria Callas. Maria Callas is right. Go to 60. Look at this. What was the capital city of Japan from 794, Neil? Kyoto. Kyoto is correct. You've got $40. And you're striking back towards the end of the uh, round. This is a special fame game question. $25 could make all the difference in this game. Who am I? I was born in Sydney in 1849. I became a leader in Australian public life. I had made a name for myself at the bar and in politics. Dissatisfied with state politics, I devoted myself to a great cause. At a meeting in the Sydney suburb of Ashfield, I coined the phrase, a nation for a continent, Neil. Jack Lang. Not Jack Lang. I'll repeat the quote, a nation for a continent and a continent for a nation. In fact, I became the first Prime Minister of the Australian Commonwealth. I was Sir Edmund Stephen. Barton. Barton is right. Your pick, Sir Edmund Barton. I thought, we'd, uh, I thought we'd never get to him. The faces are in position. Which one would you like, Steve? Terry Willisey. Terry Willisey. Good luck. Here we are, Stephen. You've won these fabulous kids' games, such as Peanut Panic and Gyro Copper. These will keep the kids happy for hours. Compliments, Sale of the Century and R&B Eldridge. Nice birthday gifts. Happy birthday, whoever's getting them. Uh, you retain the lead, Mary. It's the end of round two. We'll be back with more Sale of the Century after this break. Wouldn't you like to be just like a real mummy? You can with baby love and touch. Baby, I love you so much, cause you're all mine to love and touch. Your soft baby skin, bright blue eyes. You snuggly and cuddly and just my size. Baby love and touch makes you feel like a real mummy, cause she's so, oh, just like a real baby. Baby love and touch from Mattel. Century, round three coming up. Mary Stanley in the box seat, champion, $60 so far tonight, $129 in the bank. If you win tonight, Mary, you, you'll be going for a prize or you will possibly have take home a prize valued at $2,000. So keep hard at it. Gentlemen, your, your job is to stop her. First question, round three. Who was the first Catholic president of the USA? Mary. John Fitzgerald Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. Go to 65. Good one. Cyclone Tracy hit Darwin on Christmas Eve, killing 65 people. In what year was this, Stephen? 77. 1974. In fact, much earlier than that, back to 25. A famous Italian composer has a name which translated literally into English means Joe Green. Mary. Giuseppe Verdi. Giuseppe Verdi, that's right. Up to 70, good one for the champion. Verdi, it sounds much better going to a Verdi opera than I'm going to see one of Joe Green's uh, numbers tonight. <laughs> Much better. Madame Du Barry met a sudden end in 1793. Neil. She was guillotined. Yes. Well, I don't know about that, but um, the rest of the question was, whose special friend among the kings of Europe was she? That was Louis XV, and it cost you $5. Gift shop time, the bell ringeth. 
again. Mary, $70. Now, this is a good time to spend. You've got a nice break. You're 35 ahead of Neil. There's uh, a lead of 45 over Stephen. There's still 25 on the fame game board, so don't get carried away, but have a look at this. Wrong it. Roll on, boys. <laughs> Capture your most precious moments with this fabulous movie camera. You can do it yourself at home and show them to your friends and family on this projector and screen. Now, it's normally priced at $750, but tonight the Sankyo movie camera is only $15 from now. What do you get here, uh, see, Victoria? You get the, um, the whole lot, is it? Yeah. Yes. yes. You get the, uh, get the whole lot. The whole, it's the whole shoot and works, Mary. Well, you see, last week... <laughs> Hold it. Let Mary speak. Last week I bought the camera, the ordinary camera, and I think I'll have enough trouble adjusting to that from my baby brownie mentality <laughs> to the you other just want to hold on to that, then. I think this would be a bit too sophisticated. This is how Alfred Hitchcock started off, you know. <laughs> this is how he finished up. <laughs> yeah. No, thanks. Sorry, no, no sale. Thanks, Victoria. Back to the questions. Good lead by the champ. 70 plays 35 in front. In what play do these words appear? My Oberon, what visions have I seen? Mary. Summer Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. 75. Look at this. Which political party, which political party did Theodore Roosevelt represent when he was president of the USA, Neil? Democrats. No, he was a Republican, in fact. Um... His uh, nephew, was it not uh, for Franklin D, was definitely Democrat. He was Republican. From what language would you expect words beginning with P.S. to derive? Yes, Mary. Greek. From the Greek. It's the pseudonym for psychology. Well, well. Gentlemen, uh, you're in a spot of bother, a chance to uh, improve your situation with this fame game question. Who am I? I was born in 1840. After I finished school, I joined my father in his work as a mason and builder. Between that time and the burial of my ashes in Westminster Abbey and my heart in my parish church, I achieved fame. I became absorbed with the working of fate in the lives of characters in my novels. Some of my novels were Far From the Madding Crowd Mary. Thomas Hardy. Great British writer. Good answer. That should uh, just about clinch it for you, Mary. A final pick of the board. This could be really good news for you. Uh, Bert Newton, please. Moonface. Mary, you find a pair of beautifully handmade shoes and house shoes. Elegance and comfort together in the superb range. Compliments of Sale of the Century and John Carandonis. I was, um, I was actually uh, at uh, John Carandonis' factory this morning in Marrickville and he sends you his good wishes plus, plus the shoes and uh, they're good ones, I can assure you. Oh, good. Which vitamin... Oh, I beg your pardon. Before we go on the vitamins, the money... Tonight, Victoria? Paul Cronin. Paul Cronin had the money. Last three questions. Which vitamin are oranges especially rich in? Neil. C. Vitamin C is correct. What term describes the situation where two or more words in a line begin with the same sound? Mary. Alliteration. Alliteration, lovable, luscious Linda. <laughs> Threatening thongs. What name was given to the bodyguard of the Roman emperors from Augustus to Constantine? They were the Praetorian Guard. That's it for tonight. Mary's the champion Oh boy, get that big truck ready. Mary's going places, a grand total now of $214. Uh, gentlemen, you came on a bad night as far as the champ's concerned. She was really working well this evening. Uh, Stephen, you've got your kids' games. They're valued at $60. And Victoria's got this thank you present for both of you. A beautiful memento from Bruce and Walsh. Well played, Mary. Good night, boys. Say good night to the fellas. There they go. Mary, uh, $214 in the bank. We've got a big surprise for something really special. Right after this break, we'll be back with our chance. You know, SSW have got a heck of a lot of die-hard support from shoppers all over Victoria. Their goal is cheaper prices, and SSW scores full points every time. This week you can get a variety of March and soft drinks for 43 cents each. Mayfair Middle Rashes are only 99 cents, and these assorted Arnold's chocolate biscuits are just 65 cents a packet. 
Yes, you'll jump for joy, because Premier Savings will keep you in front with your housekeeping budget. Look at this Scotch Bite Cordial for 89 cents, and that's two litres. SSW individually wrapped cheese slices are mere 55 cents. And of course, every week, Morgan Research price check SSW specials against the same lines at their major competitors. And this week, you save $8.18. That's certainly worth shouting about. Remember, it's value like this that puts SSW top of the savings ladder week after week. Make sure you get hold of Tuesday's Sun and check out all of SSW's weekly specials. SSW, Premier Savings. Sale of the century, Mary Stanley. Great win again. And we're ready to do it. Let's go to the best place to go shopping in Australia. Let's go shopping. <laughs> we're here. You've been here before. I have. All about yes. it. That was a great win. Your total is now $229, which is over halfway, over half of what you need to win, in fact, everything. And in the process of getting, you had such a good win tonight, you've jumped one stage, and the prize you can get now is worth quite a lot of money. Would you like to know what it is? Would you? With your $229, look this way. Isn't that beautiful? A wonderful tape recorder, videotape recorder. You'll be able to watch your favourite television shows and movies in your own time. With it, an attractive cocktail bar that will hold all your drinking needs. Both are normally priced at $3,930. Tonight, only $210 from Maya. Just on $4,000, the lot. That's the movie, home movie kit, and the bar. We'll even put in a copy of... Uh, what would you like? One of Muhammad Ali's fights or uh, no. a movie or something? A movie, yes. <laughs> All right, to go with it. And that's yours if you'd like to take it and leave tonight. But if you play on, then you're looking at this. Yes, and what a beautiful prize. This terrific 21-foot boat made for water skiing. It has an economical three-cylinder 75-horsepower engine, giving you better economy and more power. Easy to maneuver, too. Normally priced at $8,506. Tonight, only $280 from Chrysler. Change of boat. Change of boat. A power boat. We've had sail the last uh, few weeks, but now it's, it's the power boat. And that'll be probably the night after next if you keep going. Mm. All right? Had a good look? Yes. You can't give you a test drive tonight. But look over here. This is the next stage. Well, what about this, Mary? You could have this unique build-it-yourself compact A-frame home. Modern and superbly designed, this home would normally cost $14,200. Tonight, only $330 from Bisley Homes. It's a house. Your own house. You have to build it. <laughs> we just give you the parts. But it's it's marvellous. That's how it looks. Would you like to take a whip? See that? That's how it looks up. Okay. Mary, don't make your mind up yet because this Merc, we've been polishing it week after week, night after night, and I'm sure it's just sitting there waiting for you. Mary, the prize of prizes. This magnificent car, the most economical of the petrol engine Mercedes-Benz, the 230, engineered like no other car. Priced at $31,875, tonight only $395 from Mercedes-Benz of Australia and distributors. So you're well into the 200s. You're well into the 200s, right, already. And this is only 395 very, very close. Right. It's a great motor car. Did they let you sit in? Did you have a sit I in it last week? Yeah. Last week yes. Isn't that lovely smell of leather and oh, everything? Lovely, yes. Oh, great. The car by which other cars are compared. Your, um, your decision time for tonight, you're looking at the home movie outfit and the bar. All right? And you can take that, leave us now, or come back, have another crack tomorrow night, and I'll give you 10 seconds to make your mind up. Getting into the big stuff now. Bruce and Walsh key ring there. Have a look. <laughs> Must pump those tyres up. Um, Mary Stanley. I'll come back. Having another go. Next night on. Victoria. Mary's coming in. It's getting pretty exciting now. 229. Who knows? 300 tomorrow night. We'll see you then. So. Say good night, Victoria. Good night, Victoria. Good night, New South Wales. Keep smiling and bye for now. Bye bye. Now on Channel 6, it's time for the. The star of the show, Tony Baba. Thanks, Pete. Thank you very much. And thanks very much for the tie, too, Peter. Thank you for joining us across Australia, wherever you're watching from. These are the halcyon days for Sale of the Century. We've got the champion up in the big money. $229 for Mary Stanley. And that Mercedes-Benz may be just around the corner. Just around this corner, meet our lovely lady of the gift shop, Victoria Nichols. You had a mental tone. You had a mental tone. No, 
I don't know what I was going to say for a minute. Oh, cream. Cream's you. You're cream. You are cream. Um, is that lovely, Peter? Yes, he said. Yes, sir. Yes, he said. Beautiful. Cream. Every time you look at me, you think of biscuits. No. <laughs> I, think of, I think of all the nice people we're about to meet right now. Let's meet the players from all over Australia. <laughs> Come on down. Here and our first player this evening is from South Australia. And her ambition is to be a professional table tennis player. Meet Tammy Kachuk. Tammy, Tammy. And our second player this evening is an actor from New South Wales. I'd like to meet Martin Derrick. Martin, you so Martin Derrick. Yeah, yeah. And our third player, of course, is our carryover champion from Victoria, Mary Stanley. The champ's back. OK, Creamy, see you later. Thanks, Kim. Over in the gift shop. Thanks, Victoria. Welcome to you, Tammy. Tammy uh, Kar Karchuk. What, um, what ethnic... Uh... That's Ukrainian. Oh, it's Ukrainian. That's right. You been here a long time? Oh, I was born in Australia. Second generation. Right. Yes. And do you, do you play table tennis? That's right. And bowling. Ten-pin bowling. Are you competitive table tennis player? Well, I used to at one stage, yes. But now I play socially. Yeah. It's probably better socially, you know. It gets to be That's a bit. Right. Uh, you tend to get a few enemies around the place. Oh, I'll say. This is actually, if you can play table tennis well, you'll be good at this game because that the buzzer reflex business. That's mm. very much in the same line I hope of work. Good luck rubs off. Good luck, Tammy. Hello, Martin. Hello, Tony. Where have you been acting lately? Oh, mainly Sydney. Um, yes. M the local sort of uh, production companies there. Sure. Much television? Mainly television, yeah. What have you been in, Martin? Um, well, Young Doctors, Restless Years. Um, Restless Years? You yeah. could finish, finish up being a hostess on a quiz. I've met, yeah. Um, I've got a bit in punishment coming up next week, so... Uh, uh -huh. Seems to be going quite well at the moment. Comes and goes. Nice to have a thespian with us tonight, and good luck, Martin. Okay, thank you. Mary? Hello, Tony. You have equaled the record. No, oh, 214, is it? I thought it was 229. 214 in the bank. It's almost as much as anyone's ever had in the bank in the game. So you're one of our, so far, all-time great champions. Can you keep it up, Mary? Well, I hope. These people are going to try and stop you, but I'm sure that many, I speak for many of the audience, but they wish you luck protecting your money. Good luck, Mary. All the best, everybody. Lights and buzzers, please. Tammy. Martin. And Mary. $20 each. Starting money, your job. Build on it. Let's go. In which Australian state is the town of Esperance? Martin. Western Australia. Western Australia's right. Go to 25. First blood to the challenges. According to biblical tradition, who caused Samson to have a haircut? Mary. Delilah. Delilah, that's right. You, not to be confused, she actually did not do the cutting. She organised to have it done while he was asleep, apparently. Victor Matura in the movie, wasn't it? But yes. Randall Worth, I thought it was. <laughs> Psychiatrist pioneer Freud had what first name? Tammy. Sigmund. All off the mark, all playing well, $25 a piece. A tricycle has three wheels, a tripod has three feet. What is a trident? Tammy. The devil's, uh, the fork. The devil's fork. More information, please. Well, it's got three spikes on it. That's the it? information we required. It's a three-pronged spear. They're literally three teeth. I normally associate it with um, Neptune, perhaps, or, uh, or Britannia ruling the waves. The town of Edom is famous for its cheese. Mary. In Holland. It's in Holland, the Netherlands, correct. $30. Joint leaders at this stage, so it's a double sale situation. Tammy or Mary, either of you may wish to uh, let loose a few of those dollars. And if you do so, I'll get you to, to look at the gift shop now and see what Victoria has for you. I've got this terrific little kitchen helper. It's probably one of the most versatile food processing systems you can buy. It really is several appliances in one and it'll cut all lengthy preparation time in half. Now it's normally priced at $210, but tonight only $7 from Pavlidis Emporium. Oh, be a kitchen whiz. $7, Tammy, what do you say to a bit of kitchen magic there? I've got one. Think of, yes. you've got one. Yes, I have. <laughs> Just like that, eh? Have you got one, Mary? Not quite like that. Would you like I've it, got love? Some... No, thank you. Six dollars, either of you? Going, going, gone, and no sale on that one. We'll keep it. Thank you. Chang and Eng were natives of Siam and both died 
Martin? They're Siamese twins. They Frank. were Siamese twins. You're right. Go to $30. $30 all. This historic landmark of the stage included such memorable hit songs as Old Man River. Mary? Showboat. Showboat's the one. $35 leads. By five. Complete this Northern Territory place name. Humpty... Mary. Do. Humpty Do is right. Takes you to 40. Takes us to the fame game. First possible pick of the board for this. Who am I? I was a man of many parts. I wrote an introductory sonnet for my friend Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen. I was a favourite of Queen Elizabeth and was imprisoned briefly when she found out I had married Mary. Sir Walter Raleigh. Sir Walter Raleigh executed 1618. Right. Quick check on the faces, are they there? They're there. They're there? Let's find out who they are. George Negus. 60 Minutes. Kevin Arnett. Spook Space and Weather. Terry Willisey. From Perth. Cheryl Ladd. From Charlie's Angels. Don Lane. 9.32 Nights a Week. Vivian Gray. From The Sullivans. Bert Newton. 9.32 Nights a Week. Stephanie Powers. On uh, Heart to Heart. And Paul Cronin. Also of The Sullivans. Who would you like, Mary? Good luck. Um, I'll have Mrs Jess. Oh. Vivian Gray. Yeah, Mrs. Thing. <laughs> That's right, Mary. Hey, you've won this superb backgammon set. A challenging game to play comes complete with rules and instructions. Com compliments, sale of the century and mire. And isn't she great, too? <laughs> Lovely from the Sullivans. Nice game, too. Um, at this stage, our champion in no bother at all, leading clearly, but there's two rounds to go. We'll be back with the next one after this break. <laughs> Well, you wake up in the morning, it's a great day, but there's a feeling in your tummy like your throat's been cut. When your tummy starts to rumble and your heart thumps too, then a boy just knows what a boy's got to do. Got to get to your fighter bits and get there fast. Get a munch from the first, get a crunch from the last. Got to get yourself going with that whole grain wheat. Get the fighter bits, fighter bits, they can't be beat. Got to keep yourself going all the way through to lunch. Get the fighter bits, fighter bits, crunch. If you'd like to be a contestant, write to Contestant Grundy Organisation, GPO Box 7079, Sydney 2001. Back to you, Tony. Come and join us. That's what Mary Stanley did and became our champion about three nights ago. Mary Stanley has $40, leads the game. Remember, if you think the tension's not on here, Mary is playing for a $6,000 speedboat tonight. If you win it, Mary, good luck. Born in 1899, I was, among other things, a writer of songs, such as A Room With A View, I'll see you again. And Mad Dogs and Englishmen. Mary. Noel Coward. Noel Coward is correct. <laughs> Marilyn Rowe, Lucette Aldous and Marilyn Jones are all Australian what? Martin. I say poets. Not poets, no Martin. Although they are in fact poetry in motion, each of them. Um, they are all ballerinas dancing with the Australian Ballet Company. If you invited a sinologist to your home, what kind of person would you have invited? A sinologist? A student of China, a China, a China specialist. Uh, perhaps Dr. Stephen Fitzgerald would, would uh, best fit, fit the bill there. Who was Arturo Toscanini? Mary. A famous conductor. A famous conductor, correct, 1867 to 1957. Do you know that in the end his eyesight apparently failed for the last few years of his career and he was conducting from memory and still doing it equally as well? During World War II, the rats of Tobruk became famous. In what present day country, Martin? Um, Egypt. Is Tobruk. It's in Libya. And you're back to 20, leaving Mary comfortably ahead and in great shape for a bit of spendthriftness. Mary, you have a lead of $20 over Tammy. You've got $50 to throw around and something nice to do with it. Certainly is nice. Mary, I've got this terrific little five-piece colonial setting. It's perfect for a kitchen area, as you can see. It doesn't really take up much room, so it's ideal for small spaces. Now, it's normally priced at $299, but tonight it's only nine from Maya. Nine. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. Mary, while you're ahead, while you've got that, while you've got that $20 break, wouldn't this be a good time to perhaps for nine dollars. Nine dollars and a certain sum of cash money, which I have now produced, which is in fact one hundred dollars. I'll just tuck that in the back of one of the chairs and it's yours for eight dollars going once, twice. 
Oh. Three times. No thanks. No, no sale. No. I'll keep the money. Well, I'll keep it till the end of the program. And we're back in business. Who wrote the Australian classic, The Magic Pudding? Mary. Uh, Norman Lindsay. Norman Lindsay's right. Go to 55. <laughs> in which country was Brian Baru, a patriot king? Mary. Ireland. Ireland. The champion's doing it well. $60. The well-loved opera, E. Pagliacci, includes the characters of Beppi and Canio, as well as the clown, Tonio. Who wrote it? Mary. Mascani. No, it wasn't Mascani, it was uh, Ruggiero Leon Cavallo, in fact. Uh, and that's about all that we really, that is famous that he did write. But it was a good one. Not for you. Back to 55, another fame game question and a possible $25, important for you and Martin, uh, Tammy. Who am I? Born in 1884, I served in the Spanish-American War and for a number of years afterwards worked as a reporter on various newspapers. In 1911, I became a sports writer in New York. I became internationally famous for my short stories, which were usually written about gamblers, gangsters and characters of the sporting world, like Harry the Horse. Mary. Damon Runyon. Alfred Damon Runyon is correct. Damon Runyon. Fingers crossed for the champ. Pick of the board, Mary. What would you like, madam? Um, George Negus, please. George Negus. George Negus. Congratulations, Mary. You've won a set of four kitchen canisters. These will make life so much easier in your kitchen. Compliment sale of the century and my... Nice prize, but you're, uh, you're really stiff for that money. Have you... Have you ever actually... You, have, you haven't had it? I did have it, yes. Oh, first yes. night. Uh, second night. Second night. Mm -hmm. I know you had... Not lately, anyway. And with lots of picks, too. All right, it's still there. Still gives Tammy and Martin a chance to catch up. We'll be back with the all-important round three after this break. K Towel is proud to present one of the legends of our time, Mr. Burl Ives. A little bit of tear let me down. These are 20 of Burl Ives' most requested. Pearly shell. Burl Ives, the singer, the entertainer. It's just my... Funny way of laughing, yes, my This magnificent collector's edition, Burl Ives Most Requested, six ninety nine 99 from KTEL. Sale of the Century, round three, welcome back. State of the game, Tammy Karchuk, South Australia, $30, Tammy. Martin Derrick from New South Wales, $20, still on starting point. Mary Stanley, our champion, you have $55, Mary. I, I made an error before, I was trying to rob you before. You're playing, in fact, a victory tonight. Would, uh, would give you the boat. In fact, that new powerboat, which is valued not at $6,000, but at $8,506. I don't want to make you uh, two tenths at the start of the round, but that's what you're going for. Last round. What term originated during the Spanish Civil War as a name for the secret fighters who organized uprisings, espionage and sabotage within enemy ranks? They were the fifth columnists. They were the fifth column. A floor covering of wooden blocks arranged in a pattern is known, Mary? Parquetry. Uh, parquetry will do, parquetry or parquet. 60. The phrase, the king is unable to escape, if translated into Persian, forms what expression used in chess? Mary? Checkmate. Checkmate is correct. Originally, charmate. Charmate in Persian. One of the great modern adaptations of Greek drama is Morning Becomes Electra. Who wrote the modern play? Martin, you might be looking for a part in it one day. Uh, it was written by Eugene O'Neill in 1931. I hear a bell and that means that it's... Uh... Oh, Mary, you're really comfortable. Look, you're, you're very comfortable at the moment. You're 45 ahead of Martin, you're $35 ahead of Tammy, and you've got it all in front of you. Look this way. Terrific pewter wear. It'll always look good and as new as the day that you bought it. And it's really lovely to have, particularly if, if you like outdoor living, because it tends to keep the wine really cool and it's easy to care, you know, it doesn't chip, break, crack. And it's normally priced at $1,000, but tonight, only $15 from Selangor. Oh, pretty pewter, Mary. $15. Normally $1,000 for $15. No, one sherry and I get weak knees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't have to. You don't have to have sherry in them. You can have orange no, juice or anything. It's not my scene. <laughs> I'll put a hundred dollars. I'll put. Uh, 
I put $100 cash in one of the, um, one of the little uh, baubles. Oh. And, uh, I don't think they want you to have that. No, I don't and think And I'll let you have it for either. $14. Once, twice. No. no. No sale. We keep the pewter, you keep the money. Shooting for a boat worth $8,000, remember. The Suez Canal is in Egypt and the Panama Canal is in Panama. Where in the world is the alimentary canal? Mary. In the human body. It comprises mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach and intestines. It's 30 foot long. <laughs> Runs right through you. Queensland is the state where vast new mining is likely for a substance that was of little value but which can be converted into oil. What starting with S, Martin? Shale. Shale is right. Good to hear from you, Martin. 25. Australians drink a lot of tea from Ceylon. Only it isn't called Ceylon these days. It's called... Mary? Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka's right, 75. Watch her go. The uh, $25 on top of all of that would be really uh, something for the sideboard. Last fame game question, who am I? I'm an American author, born February 7, 1885. I graduated from Yale University and became a journalist. I was the first American to be awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Included in the books I wrote are Babbitt, Elmer, Mary. Sinclair Lewis. He's the one. Eh? <laughs> Let's see if you can round it out to the nice even ton for yourself, Mary. Which face? Uh, Don Lane, please. Don Lane in the middle. Don Lane. I was very, uh, I was a little bit worried about that because we, this is the first time we've hit three figures and I wasn't sure whether our scoring machine could handle it, but you've, uh, you've made it. What was the famous discovery in 1799 that allowed the translation into modern languages of Egyptian hieroglyphics? Mary. The Rosetta Stone. Correct. What was, <laughs> cheering it out of the wire. Get it ready there. What was the name of the Uganda president who led his country to independence in 1962, but was overthrown in 71, Martin? What do you mean? Yeah, no, it was Mil Milton Aboti. Milton Aboti overthrew Idi Amin. When a compound is anhydrous, what do you know about it? Mary. Has no water in it. What a great score. <laughs> uh, Mary Stanley kind of uh, swept the board there. Tammy, in round one, I thought you were going out for a big night there. Never mind. What happened? I don't know. You were pressing and... And nothing came. Not quickly enough. That's Incidentally, right. for the sake of people watching at home, um, sometimes the scores may be misleading because I saw Tammy working hard and Martin at times. Our buzzers are timed to within one thousandth of a second and that's why we perhaps didn't hear so much from them. Tammy and Martin, thank you both for playing and here's a, a gift to say thank you also. It's a lovely gift too. A beautiful memento from Bruce and Walsh. <laughs> Mary skipped another... I'm not sure. I think you may have left the boat behind. I'm not sure. You've got $324 to spend, and all importantly, we'll find out after this break exactly what Mary can spend it on. Do you dare to eat the world's biggest, noisiest breakfast flake? Not just the world's biggest flake, but... Champion and still champion, Mary Stanley. How are you going, champ? Very well, thank what you. What a great yes. victory. And now I think we're ready to do it. Yes. Shall we? We will, yes. Let's go shopping. Here we go. There we go. Straight over here. To this position. Because this, in fact, is what you were playing for tonight. This magnificent motorboat. You know what happened, Mary? Because your score was so large, you went right past this stage. Understand? You've got yes, too much yes, money for this yes, now. Yes, never happened before. You've gone <laughs> past the $8,000 boat. Too bad. Any of the family water ski? You've got four kids? Uh, yes, none of them water ski, but mm. um, my husband's keen on sailing. And, yeah. um, oh, the yacht's well, suppose, gone. So yes, the yacht's power. gone, yes. Well, uh, Probably a good thing, isn't it? Power, that's, that's, that's right. So now... No, power gives way to sail, isn't it? No, the other way. Sail <laughs> gives way to power. power yeah. You've got 300 <laughs> and 20 odd dollars. You only need $320 for this. 
Mary, this fabulous home is a home builder's dream. Its A-frame design gives it an unusual yet practical living area. It's the perfect family holiday home, normally priced at $14,200. Tonight, only $320 from Bisley Homes. That's it. And you've won a house. And it's not every night that... Uh... It's not every night that someone wins a house no, on television. No. You've won one. It's yours to take and leave us if you wish. But if you want to play on, this is only a little way away now. One night, perhaps, and the prize of prizes. Yes, it is, Tony. Quality workmanship and attention to detail make this car one of the safest and economical of its range. The 230 priced at $31,875. Tonight, only $395 from Mercedes-Benz of Australia and distributors. This is it. The mighty Merc. Fabulous motor car. What is it? Uh, Seventy-one dollars away from you. One good win would do it. There's the Bruce and Walsh key ring to go with it. Gold and diamonds. That's valued at two thousand um, dollars. So the choice is really getting quite interesting now, isn't it? It's uh, it's the super motor car or the holiday home erected on your property by you if you decide to take Not it. By me, oh, by your old man. <laughs> I'll give you 10 seconds to make your mind up. It's a big one, Mary. Big night tonight. House or the car? Of course, perhaps I don't need to remind you that, and this is what makes it interesting at this stage, that should you in fact lose tomorrow night, then, uh, oh, of course, you've won a few nice things along the way. Oh, I have, yes. Yeah. So it's a bit of a punt, really, isn't it? It is, but... Um... Oh, well, if I haven't, haven't actually got it, I can't miss it, can I? So yeah. I'll go on. Another go. Mary plays again. Makes it an interesting one tomorrow night. Here's Victoria to wish you well for tomorrow evening, as we all will, of course. Um, and we'll see you then, Mary. Brave decision. Hope to see you tomorrow night, everybody. Victoria? We we'll go and get your things ready over there. My things? We'll join you shortly. All right. In the gift shop. See ya. Welcome, Tom. Safe trip across? Everything all right? Not too bad, Tony. That's good. How are things in the west? A bit warmer than here. Are they? Has that's the weather bit. been generally good this year? No, very wet. Oh. Well, that's good. We in the western Australia is what you need, the rain. That's yeah. good. Good evening to everyone watching through Channel 9 Perth, and good luck to you, Tom. Thank you. Glenn, welcome. Hey, Tony. You're, uh, well, we can't ask much about your profession, really. Things good in your business? Oh, there's always plenty of business, Tony. Lots of work around? Yes, Tony, yes. There's plenty of it here for you tonight, too, Glenn. Yes, I know, Tony, yeah. Good luck and nice to have you here. Good luck Thank to you. Thank you, Tony. Mary, welcome back, champ. Thank you, Tony. Nice <laughs> special round of applause for the champ. Big night for Mary. Did the, uh, any last-minute instructions for tonight did you get from you? Oh, well, they've Crazy. all got different vibes if I happen to get to the, the faces, you know. The, oh, they they say choose this and another one says choose this. Sure, that, that $25 can be vital, yeah. can't it? You've made a very brave decision. Needless to say, we wish you well, Mary, the champ, as we do in all fairness to the challenges as well. Let's try the, uh, try the lights and buzzers, get this all-important game underway. Tom, Glenn and Mary. $20 each. And we're set to play $5 if you're right. You lose $5 if you're wrong. Remember, keep it in mind at home. Mary needs $71 and a win in the game to clinch the Merc. A famous World War II hero, a member of the 7th Division, won a Victoria Cross and lost a leg. He is now the Governor of New South Wales, Glenn. Sir Roden Cutler. He is Sir Roden Cutler. You're off and running. 25. <laughs> Flamenco dancing owes much to Flemish, Gypsy and Arabic influences. But these days, what country is mainly associated, Glenn? Spain. Here's a hot one. Glenn de Perti. Who wrote and sings the song with the words, I still call Australia home? Perhaps if I hum a few bars, it might help. It was one of the highlights, in fact, of the uh, recent Royal Command performance, the Sydney Opera House and Peter Allen. I still call Australia home by Peter Allen. The CPI is a cost of living index. What does CPI stand for, Glenn? Consumer Price Index. You're right again, Glenn. Good early lead, 35. In which Australian state is the Illawarra district? Glenn. Um, Victoria. Not uh, Victoria. It is, in fact, New South Wales. But a good round for you, Glenn. You go back to 30, and you're in the lead at this important stage. You're 10 ahead of Tom. 
10 ahead of Mary, $30 to spend, and look this way. Ah, great little table and stools, chrome table and glass top, and the stools are corduroy covered now. It's a great way to entertain in a, in a small area. Um, they're beautifully designed, they're normally priced at $259, but tonight you can have them for $9 from Maya. $9, Glenn. Gee, the... Uh... Glenn, uh, you may have heard uh, Turak College there, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nine dollars, we're saying. I'll, uh, I'll add a little to that. Just to sort of... Uh, that's um, a that's hundred dollars cash to go with it, all right? Oh, yeah. oh you're... Uh, He's one of those. Thanks, Victor. Would you take the hundred dollars? <laughs> Can't wait to get it. That was quick. I, I didn't think for a minute that you would, but you did. Back to 21. The money's in the kick. And we're back to questions. <laughs> 20 plays 21 and 20. What country did Germany invade in 1939 that meant the start? Yes, Glenn. Poland. Poland is right. Paid for some of the goodies there. Go to 26. You want to try your buzzer, Tom? There. Mary? Yes. Still working. The Brazilian flag shows four colours. Name one of them. Glenn. Red. Red is not one of them, actually. Green would have done, yellow would have done, blue or white would have done. Back to 21. A prologue comes at the beginning of a play. What comes at the end, Mary? Epilogue. The epilogue is right. <laughs> and there we go. In the lead at this stage, Mary, the all-important fame game question. $25 lurking up yonder. What is our name? We are stone structures. Our outlines are simple. Our interiors are less simple. Maybe we're monuments of misspent effort, Tom. Pyramids. That's right. Good one for you, Tom. <laughs> Handy one. The, um, the tombs, Egypt, etc., would have helped. Victoria, the, the board's ready? The lady with the faces. The lady with the girl, the faces, and here they are. George Negus. From 60 Minutes. Kevin Arnett. Does the weather in 9 Sydney, uh, Melbourne. Terry Willisey. From Terry Willisey's Perth. Tom would know him. Cheryl Ladd. From Charlie's Angels. Don Lane. Of the Don Lane Show. Vivian Gray. From Sullivan's. Bert Newton. Of the Don Lane Show and 3UZ Melbourne. Stephanie Powers. From Heart to Heart. And Paul Cronin. Of the Sullivan's. Tom. I'll stick with Perth, Terry. The local lad, Terry Willisey. This is for you, Tom. Congratulations. You won a pair of double and single bed blankets. These will keep your family warm in winter. Compliments sale of the century and Mansour's, the bedroom, bathroom and tabletop shops. OK, Tom. No money, but that's nice. And a bit of a sigh of relief from Mary and Glenn, too. And we'll be back with round two of Sale of the Century after this. Sale of the Century. If you came in late, uh, Mary Stanley protecting a bank of $324 and chasing a $31,000 Mercedes-Benz motor car, just leading on 25, but we've got a close game. What, according to St. Mark, is the next word Jesus said after these words? Get thee behind me, Mary. Satan. Satan is right. Go to 30. $30 leads. The Führer, as Hitler was called, means the leader. Mussolini was also known as the leader in Italian. Mary? Il Duce. He was Il Duce. Right, 35. In 1803, the United States bought the western half of the Mississippi River Basin. The sale of the 19th century, Mary? The Louisiana Purchase. Was made from which country? From Is the, uh, You came in a little bit soon. From which country we wanted... France. Was, uh, Professor Sam Ball, was that in fact the Louisiana Purchase? That was the Louisiana Purchase, it was yes. the, But it wasn't exactly what we were after, was no, it? No, I'm afraid not. Thank you very much, Sam. That's the gentleman, the Director of Education at Sydney University, who sets and adjudicates on the questions, and you're back to 30, Mary. If you wanted to enter the America's Cup Yacht Contest, what size boat would you need? Tom. 30 metre? No, no, Tom. It's, uh, Alan Bond would be uh, ashamed of you coming from Perth and all. A 12 metre yacht, they're 12 metres. Who was the Trojan prophetess who was fated to prophesy truly and be disbelieved? That particular Trojan prophetess was Cassandra, in fact. The bell rings. Oh, just the time for you to let loose here, Mary. You've got uh, a $9 lead, 15 over Tom, and $30 to spend. Just what you want at this stage. Hello, hello, what's going on here? Time in style. 
Could you resist this beautiful, slim, stylish Bruce and Walsh Amiga watch? I couldn't. It has scratch-proof glass and it's normally priced at $200, but tonight is only $6 compliments of Bruce and Walsh. I, uh, I think possibly uh, under the circumstances, um, Mary... Uh, under the circumstances, look, the answer's there, no. <laughs> the answer's no, OK. Keep your money, we'll keep that. Which Moroccan city has a name meaning White House? Mary. Casablanca. You said it, sweetie. That's a good one, 35. What is a Philippic? Philippic. No answer. It's a bitter verbal attack or a tirade, originally after better speeches, uh, or bitter speeches by Demosthenes attacking Philip II of Macedonia. Tuffy, championship question. Whose crew mutinied in 1611 and put him, his son, and seven loyal sailors adrift in a small boat in icy Canadian water, never to be seen again? Tragic chapter of history, Henry Hudson. And all was quiet. We're looking for a fame game, a pick of the board, and a possible $25. Who am I? I was born in Louisville, Kentucky in 1942. In 1960, I won Golden Gloves and Olympic Games Championships, Glenn. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is right. You're picking the board. Ooh, dodgy now for Mary. Who would you like, Glenn? Um, Paul Cronin. Lots of luck. This is for you, Glenn. You've won a set of splays, perfect for eating cakes and other such delectable desserts and meals. Compliments, sale of the century, and MacArthur. No money. Good writing equipment. And the stage is set for a uh, pretty exciting round three. Mary Stanley hanging on, leading by about $14 at this stage. We'll be back after the break. <laughs> round three. The last lap, the championship strokes, as it were. And Mary Stanley on $35, needing $71 to clinch the car. Glenn, you're 21, Tom, 15. On the 13th of May, 1787, a small fleet of ships set out from Portsmouth under the command of Captain Philip. How many ships were in the founding fleet? Mary. Eleven. Correct. Eleven. Forty dollars. In the early years of the colony in New South Wales, a liquid was used as currency. What was it? Glenn. Rum. Fast one. Yes. Rum is correct. Twenty-six. Sir William McMahon, an ex-Prime Minister of Australia, represents what federal electorate? It is low in New South Wales. From where do these lines come? The evil that men do lives after them. The good is... Yes, Mary? From Julius Caesar. Mark Antony's speech. That's correct, yes. <laughs> All right, just to take the pressure off for a few brief instants, Mary, you have $45 and you are. $19 ahead of Glenn, your nearest opponent. Time to buy some painting. Um, no? Oil painting. Now, everybody would like to have an oil painting in their house, I'm sure. This is a beautiful oil, oil painting. It has a gold gilt frame, and not the stand doesn't go with it, but it's lovely just the same. Now, it's normally priced at $370, but tonight it's only $15 from Southern Cross Day Court. Now, I seem to have lost all my spendthrift ways, I think. You've suddenly tightened up, Mary. What's the I trouble? Have... Lash out, just the thing. There could be a Rembrandt under that. Often happens. You scrape away the top and what's underneath? No sale? No, no sale. No Let's sale. play on. What Australian city, first known by the name Eden Glassy, was named after a governor of New South Wales? It was out of bounds to free men until 1842 and is now a capital city. Ooh, they're missing lots tonight. That's Brisbane, in fact. Brisbane. What is a palanquin? Mary. It's a, a covering, um, usually jewelled or embroidered or something like that. More information, please. Um, on, um, oh, on, in, for ceremonial occasions. Um, don't, is it a coffin? Um, I think we've got to pin this down, down. Uh, Professor. Uh, like like um, uh, a canopy. More the... I'll give you the answer that I've got here. It's a type of enclosed Asian carriage, usually carried by four or six men, and I'll oh. call on you, Professor, to adjudicate on that answer. I don't think she quite made it with that answer that she gave, I'm afraid. In all justice, I don't think no, you really got to the essence of either. the fact that it's a, a carriage. 
A carriage being the operative thing. Okay, thanks, Sam. In which city was the English woman Edith Cavill, matron of a nurses' training institute at the outbreak of World War I? She was executed for helping Allied soldiers escape from the Germans. And at that time, she was working in Brussels. Right, last pick of the board. $25 there, if you're good enough. Who am I? I was born in Ohio in 1894. I worked as a reporter and joined the New Yorker in 1927. Both my writing and my sketches became world famous. My humour was wry and gentle. My works include The Night the Ghost Got In, My Life and Hard Times, and The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. My last... Yes, Glenn. Walter Conshaw. Walter? Conshaw. Not correct. This is the last clue. My last name rhymes with Berber. I'll repeat the last two clues. Yes, Mary. James Thurber. That's the one. James... <laughs> you uh, always make it this interesting for people, Mary? <laughs> I made it pretty interesting for myself. <laughs> last pick of the board. I'll just remind people you need $71 to go through for the car. There's 25 lurking up there somewhere, which make it very helpful. Who would you like? Oh, um, Kevin Arnett. Kevin Arnett. Money. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's take it home with the last three questions of the night. Remember, $71 needed. What was the earlier name in Captain Cook's time for the Hawaiian Islands? Glenn. Sandwich Islands. Sandwich Islands is right. Two questions remaining. Who was the noted convict architect who designed the Sydney Hospital? Mary? Francis Greenway. Francis Greenway is right. $70. The last question, 70 plays 31 and 15. Captain John Smith was the English soldier who founded Virginia. There is a story that his life was saved by a girl, Mary? Pocahontas. That's the one! I've got goose pimples. I don't think uh, I don't think we expected it to sort of work out that well, Mary. Congratulations, you've got the money required. Tom, you're leaving us with the blankets worth $170. Just the thing for those cold Perth nights. Um, your grand total of prizes, Glenn, just on $400. So it hasn't been a night's wasted. And for both gentlemen, one of these very exclusive club badges. A beautiful memento from Bruce and Walsh. I nearly had a heart attack. Say good night to the boys, everybody. <laughs> and Mary Stanley's got $75 and a grand total of $399. Will she take the car? Will she come back tomorrow night and play for the lot? We'll find out after this break. Great work, Mary. Congratulations. Mary Stanley, champion and still champion. Thanks, Dave. Are you ready to go? Yes, Dave. Let's go shopping! <laughs> and we can afford it! Straight up the back. Straight up to the dress circle. And uh, can I escort you along there? Let me open the door. This, uh, you don't mind if I handle your car, do you? No? It's all right? There we go. Isn't that comfy? Oh. Uh, you've won this, Mary, by your effort tonight. You have a total of $399, and that means you can take this with a couple of dollars left over. And also, excuse me, you can take that to go with it, that magnificent diamond and gold key ring from Bruce and Walsh. The total value of all this is somewhere around the $33,000 mark. Now, as I say, you can, you may take it and leave us. But on the other hand, if you were to come back and put it all at risk, for one more night and win another $41, which isn't much the rate you score. Another $41 and a victory in the game would give you everything you see. Total value $64,000 and would make you the greatest all-time quiz winner in Australian quiz history at one go. 
Now, just to remind you of the things you've bypassed along the way, we'll go right back to stage one, and this would be included in the prizes tomorrow night. For the perfect traveller, a fabulous fully automatic camera, together with these fine pieces of waterproof luggage from Packlight. Normally priced at $500, but tonight only $56, compliment sale of the century and Packlight. And that'll come in handy with some of the other things you see later on. Next stage up, please, Pete. Victoria? Yes, you can throw away all your old pots and pans when you own these beautiful saucepans. They have a copper base and being made from stainless steel will last for years and years and years. Now they're normally priced at $1,000 but tonight they're only $110 from Maya. Thanks Vic, there's something for every room in the house. This is almost a room on its own, all of this here. What about this, Mary? Imagine yourself on the fabulous Pacific paradise of Rarotonga in the Cook Islands, staying at the luxurious Rarotonga International Hotel, and of course flying here, New Zealand, the Pacific's number one. Normally priced at $2,000, tonight only $170 from Air New Zealand. And, and to take with you, $500 cash. That's right, Tony. And you'd have the suitcases, right, from the earlier price to go with it. And of course, this is the one you bypassed last night. Look at this. What a wonderful way to entertain your family and friends with this fabulous videotape recorder and colour monitor. And to add further pleasure, this superb cocktail bar, both normally priced at $3,930, tonight only $210 from Meyer and Sale of the Century. And somewhere to keep all those lovely things in right here. This zippy 21-foot ski boat is a must for summer. It's been specially designed for better performance with its 75-horsepower engine with power tilt and three-cylinder economy. Normally priced at $8,506, tonight only $280 from Chrysler. Nothing like a bar in the boat, is there? And you can put the whole lot in the house on the hill. What a beauty. This A-frame home would make the perfect holiday house for your family. Modern, compact, a very comfortable house, Mary. Normally priced at $14,200, tonight only $330 from Bisley Homes. Mary, we've seen them all. And as I say, all those things you've seen together with the car, the total value is $64,000, and it genuinely would make you the greatest one-time quiz winner in Australian history. I will now give you 10 seconds to make that all-important decision. It's driving home in the Merc, or back for the lot tomorrow night. Think about it. What do you think, everybody? I hope you're not getting too comfortable in there. <laughs> I am. <laughs> well, I think a bird in a hand's worth two in the bush. <laughs> and even if it is only 41 points, I don't think I could go through it again. <laughs> that means we've lost a great champion and a beautiful motor car. I haven't done that once all the time you've been on. Is this your husband? Nice to meet you, Joe, isn't it? Hi, Joe, and all the cheer squad. Congratulations, Mary. There goes our run. Excuse me. Excuse me, Victoria. Come around the front here. Uh, can I have Mary for a minute? Mary's leaving us with uh, Joe and the kids and the whole of Turek College. And uh, gee, it's been lovely having you. Congratulations, you're our biggest winner to date. And I really think you could have gone on and done it, but still, it's your decision. So we'll be back with three new players tomorrow night. A very happy champion tonight. Say good night, Victoria. Good night, keep smiling and bye for now. Bye-bye. See you at the century question.